Hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another ASMR video. Here's a mostly vegetarian food meal. Here's a salad, no not a salad because it was cooked, it was boiled. Blanche salad, I don't know. <laughs> I want, it's a soup technically, but I poured all the water. I mean the soup water over here. Yeah, it's purple because of the lettuce. The pur there's purple lettuce, there's carrots, and red bell peppers. And also there's, if you can see, there's little dehydrated, dried, freeze-dried uh, scallops. Or mini scallops or tiny scallops, I'm not sure. Yeah, this scallop thing, it's tiny. That adds some salty flavorness to it, yeah. That's why it's purple because of the, the the lettuce. It used to be purple before you cooked it, but after you boiled it, all the color comes out into the water, yeah. And here, here's some coffee, but a different twist on it. I mean, because, you know, I do like some me some sugar in my coffee but uh yeah maybe try to have less processed stuff like it like i usually put like brown sugar in it and it tastes super good but that's just white sugar with molasses in it and yeah no nutrients right this is like these preserve uh preserved dried fruits i i know the big ones are dates and then the little ones i'm not sure what the hell they're all they're called but yeah when you put it in hot water, it makes the water sweet. So I figured, let me put, when I put the instant coffee in there, that's hot water. So I put some of the little fruit things in there and then bam, it should be sweet. Yes. <laughs> Better than adding sugar, I guess, because after, after I drink it, I can eat the fruits. Yeah. And get some, possibly some fiber and some nutrients and stuff. Got some fiber in my coffee now. Yeah. Because I think coffee... Like, I don't know, some some websites is coffee ma is like laxative and some websites like coffee cause you to be constipated because it's dehydrated because of the caffeine and stuff, yeah. Well, I got some fiber in it from the dried fruit in it. The vegetables are nice and soft and mushy, yeah. And the scallop is a little springy, a little chewy. Well, that's good. I bo boiled it, then let it simmer for a while to let it get all soggy and mushy. Which I guess is not good if you like chew like crunchy, flavorful vegetables. This is a little bland because all the juices went into the water. But I like it. Well, having the scallop helps because it adds some pack some punch to the flavor usually when I eat fresh scallops like it's like um it's very sweet but these dry scallops are really salty not really salty but they don't taste sweet maybe when you dry them out, whatever, all the water, all the sweetness is in the water, it leaches out, so it's now just left over with the saltiness. Like from the salt water, right? I don't know if scallops are in fresh water or salt water. But that would make sense. You dry it out, all the water is gone, but the salt is still there. And I guess the sugar went out with the water. Made sure I chopped the lettuce, the, the carrots, and even the peppers as small as possible. So it cooks super fast and become super mushy. <laughs> mm. 
There's definitely gonna be some loss of vitamins and nutrients though. Some of it will probably be in the soup though. So not a complete loss. If you boil your meat and vegetables and you throw out the water, then yeah, you lose any vegetable. I mean nutrients. I always drink the water afterwards. Right away or later, or save it for next time as a soup. Mixing and matching flavors, but let's try some of this coffee. And it's good, wow. It's very good. It's like I've never tasted this kind of coffee before. Mmm. It's really sweet. I did use regular milk. So cow milk. And the scallops are f to kind of seafood, fish. So yeah, not, not a vegan meal. But no land animals. <laughs> land animal meat. I still got the animal byproduct. And here's sea meat. But yeah, not a meat heavy meal. That's fine. It's just kind of gross, but I actually just unclog the toilet. Because, <laughs> yeah. I guess I have big poops. Mostly because I... I Guess I don't eat enough vegetables and fruits. I'm doing my best to eat more though. The clock toilet is definitely not as frequent as it used to be, so that's good. More frequent BMs. Let's try some of the soup here. It's very good. It's sweet from the vegetables, but also it's like, like not like there's also some saltiness, some savoriness from the from the scallops. So that's good. I'm not exactly sure what savory means, but <laughs> there's like other flavors in there that's not sweet and that's not salt. It's like, but it tastes good. I think that's supposed to be like savory or unami or like, yeah. Point is, it tastes really good. I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it tastes really good. Definitely, if you have scallops try boiling in water with vegetables and meat or whatever. or just boil the scallops by itself in the water and then drink the water and see if you like it or not and you can add accordingly the other meats vegetables and fruits yeah, if you want a super sweet soup just add lots of like sweet Vegetables and fruits like corn. Mmm, super sweet. Purple lettuce, definitely going to be sweet. It seems like the darker the color the vegetable, 
the sweeter it is. Usually the green vegetables are not that sweet. I like red bell peppers, sweeter than green bell peppers. Purple lettuce, sweeter than green lettuce. I mean, there's no carrots are just orange, but yeah, they're sweet. Celery, it's green and it tastes, <laughs> tastes gross. <laughs> I'm sure there's rules to exception. Bitter melon, that's green, and it's freaking disgusting. Fruits is harder because the peel, the skin of the, the color of the peel, skin peel, whatever, is not necessary to color the fruit. For fruit, usually like the more water it is, the sweeter it is, juicier, yeah. Like watermelon, the skin is green, but the inside is red, super sweet. The only one is juicy. Like oranges, when they're dried out, oh my God, it tastes gross. Apples, they have red skin, but the inside, the meat is like light green or something like not very sweet at least compared to like orange or watermelon how do you do melon it's usually green the inside and then possibly the outside but it's really sweet so yeah definitely there's exceptions to the rules or maybe it's just for vegetables Yeah, like tomatoes are red and they're usually sour, but they are technically fruit. It didn't look like a lot, but I'm trying to get full up, full up. Full, filled up, full. Hmm. Probably should not be mixing and matching the flavors, but whatever. Hmm. I mean, I usually don't like to drink coffee because it's bitter, but I don't know, some, there's some evidence that it might be good for you. Also evidence that it's better to just drink black coffee, no milk, no cream, no sugar, <laughs> nothing. Why well, can't do that? Because coffee is supposed to be filled with antioxidants and stuff. And it it's an excuse for me to drink more milk, so that's good. And it's nice and warm, it like... The coffee, the hot water is hot, and then the milk is cold, and bam, it's warm! We can change culture, yeah. You don't want to be drinking cold stuff. Not that I believe that stuff, but yeah. 
Apparently cold beverages and food is bad for you. Although I could I could definitely see why like for your stomach if you're like mixing in cold and hot like in theory that sounds logical like it might have some problems. So like warm food, warm, warm drinks, the best. Right tea. I've eaten plenty of like ice cream that's really cold and no stomach aches from that as far as I can tell. But yeah, nice and warm is, yeah. Too cold, it'll hurt your teeth or whatever. Brain freeze and stuff. Too hot, it'll burn your tongue. I'd rather it be too cold than too hot though. Cause it really hurts when you eat hot food. Like super hot, I mean like, burning hot, not like spicy hot. Spicy hot, I like it super hot. Although that's probably even worse because it makes me like hack and cough and he wheeze and like sneeze and cry <laughs> like all the fluids are coming out of my face. Yeah, really gross. Fluids coming out of my mouth, out of my nose, out of my eyes. And then later, out of my butt. This might be too much liquid all at once, but I'm sure I'll manage. Especially since lettuce is basically water. At least that's what I've read. God damn it. Whoops. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Well, that was my phone yeah so like watching pet videos this is bad for you to feed your pets lettuce because it's mostly water what does that mean for humans it's like crazy we have like all these oh you gotta feed your pet super healthy non-processed foods like organic foods all that and then humans will gladly munch down on junk food, unhealthy food, like garbage food. Seems kind of crazy. Finish off with some coffee, god damn it. Do I not mute the fucking sound? Jesus Christ. I don't even want to drink it all at once because I want to like savor it. Here's some of the dry fruit.
date still has like seeds in it. Yeah, I mean, there's still a little coffee left. I'm gonna save that for later. <laughs> Tastes too good for me to just gulp it all down. And also, I think I consume too much liquids. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's all the time we got for this episode. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this series. If you like or dislike this video, be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video, and be sure to let me know you like these lettuces and peppers and making your own soup mm, yeah and what do you add to your coffee yeah so thank you for watching bye bye